Stress fractures are one of the top injuries in the military, a lot of it in training, and they are one of the most costly. My name is Joseph Say, and I'm the lead biomechanics researcher here at the U.S. Army Research Institute of Environmental Medicine. What I do, in essence, is uh, I get to watch people walk for a living. We examine soldiers while they're doing different activities with the intent of figuring out the stresses and strains that are placed on the soldiers while they're doing these tasks. Every action consists of a motion and a force, and what we try to do is figure out their forces and the stresses and strains at different joints. We will put motion sensors on individuals, these uh, reflective spheres, reflective balls like you see them do in the movies so that we can tell exactly how the person's moving. We can also measure the electrical activity of the muscles, we call that electromyography, it's EMG. Basically we can tell whether muscles are on and off as a result of carrying a load or doing something different than they normally do. All these pieces of information come together to give us information on how much stress and strain is being placed on the soldier's body and ultimately to get an idea of if there are increased risk for injury. For the last 20 plus years, the primary way by which we've collected biomechanics data has been in the lab. The technology has developed to the point where we are able to capture similar data in the field using accelerometers, basically what is used in the Fitbit to do step counts. These are higher resolution accelerometers than that, but it's the same basic idea, just really enhanced. We focus mainly on the ground soldier. These individuals will walk for miles with 100, 120 pounds on their backs when they're on patrol. The other thing is some of the soldiers do jobs that are very specific to soldiering, like loading ordnance into the barrel of a weapon and some large ordnance. So we can track these activities specifically to figure out what the specific needs are for the soldiers. But there's also a group of civilians that we call tactical athletes, first responders such as policemen, firefighters, folks who have high stress jobs and are carrying loads similar to what we're carrying in the military. And some of our results will be translatable to these groups. If we can figure out a way to reduce injuries or get an injured soldier back into the field faster and have them stay healthier, then that's really what drives the research that we do and then why we're here to help. Hey NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.